Hello, I'm Billy. I'm a visual artist. I've been painting walls and making creative projects all over the world for over 10 years. I love to use bright colours and big shapes to depict the things I see around me in everyday life. I like to help other people develop their creativity and encourage them to make things for themselves. In this video, I'm going to give you a creative challenge that you can do at home on your own, inspired by a really exciting project I'm currently working on at the National Football Museum in Manchester. You might not have heard of Lily Parr, but she is one of the most inspirational footballers of all time. A hundred years ago, the FA banned women's football and Lily Parr and her teammates overcame all obstacles to continue playing the game that they loved. They made space for women to play football today. There's a new gallery dedicated to Lily Parr opening at the National Football Museum and I am honoured to be working on the illustrations that will appear behind her statue, the first statue of a female footballer in the country. When I was growing up in the early 90s, I joined my primary school football team. It felt special because no other girls in my school or any of the other schools we played against were doing that at the time. Sometimes when we played an away game, we would get out of the school bus and I would hear someone from the other team say, uh, they've got a girl on their team. I remember this strange feeling of dreading going to play football because it made me feel uncomfortable. But when I lay in a muddy bath after a game, it also made me feel good. I felt empowered and happy. I learned that putting yourself out of your comfort zone was much more rewarding in the end. I am particularly inspired by Lily and her teammates because they defied perceived gender roles 70 years before me at a time in history that most women certainly didn't. Lily's story is powerful because it shows that you can overcome things that stand in your way if you believe in yourself and you stick with it. In my own work, I try to inspire people to paint or make art in the same way that Lily inspired generations of girls and women to play football. For our creative activity, I'd like you to find an everyday object related to someone or something that inspires you. We're going to use that object to help us make an artwork. First of all, look for two or three objects around your house. If you are struggling to find something, you could always have a look outside in your surroundings and take some photos of things that inspire you. For example, if you're inspired by Lily Parr, you could choose a trophy or your football. If you love cooking, you could choose a pan and some pasta. Or if you're inspired by a member of your family, you could take a picture of them or even draw what they like to eat for breakfast. For my three things, I'm going to look to my eight-year-old football playing self for inspiration. I have chosen some oranges because I remember eating orange segments at half time, a man new birthday card my sister gave me for my birthday and a photo of me in my garden holding a football and a mini milk. Now you've got some objects or photos of things that you like from your everyday life, we're going to have a go at drawing them. You can use whatever materials you have, just use any pens or pencils you can find around the house. It doesn't really matter at all, you just want to make marks. Look carefully at your objects and have a go at drawing them. Try doing some quick drawings or sketches of your objects to warm up. Remember, things don't have to be the same as in real life. You can change colours and shapes. If you're finding it tricky, look for simple shapes that make up what you're trying to draw. Just draw what you see. Don't worry about what your drawing looks like. You can't do it wrong. You don't need to rub things out or start again. When you've done some sketches, then pick your favourites and draw them all together to make an interesting picture. You can join up the lines and put shapes and doodles in between things if you like. Use your imagination. One important thing to remember is that your drawing doesn't have to look realistic. No one else will do the same drawing as you, which is what makes your drawing special, no matter what it looks like. Just enjoy drawing and don't think about the end result. Believe in yourself like Lily Parr did when she was scoring all the 900 goals throughout her career. Here's my picture. I put some colour in because I love to use colour. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. 
I hope this inspires you to do more drawing and painting and maybe one day paint some walls like me. If you had a nice time, why not look for some more things to draw and repeat the process? That's all from me. Have fun making your world more colourful. Bye bye. <laughs>